So this is my friend Zach. He's been shooting Canon for like six to seven years. And this is me. I shoot Sony and I've been shooting Sony for the last six to seven years. But today we're switching things around. Today I'm doing an intro in a car park and I'm gonna be shooting Canon for the whole day and Zach is gonna be shooting Sony for the whole day. I forgot to do this intro, so we're doing it now. Let's get to the video. So first impressions, it seems very complicated coming from Sony because I'm not used to any of this, but it also seems very smart. I really like the chat screen, that screen is definitely better than Sony. Shutter angle is cool, I had no idea I had it until Zach mentioned it. Yeah, I think the autofocus, it's, I mean, it's hard to say if it's better or worse to be honest. It kind of looks like it's the same thing, it just focuses when it has to focus. I think I like the grip better on Sony, honestly. The sun is rising. Maybe turn that way for a second. Beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah, so first thoughts on the, on the Canon. It is a camera that I really enjoy shooting with. All right, so another thing that I really like uh, is that you have this tiny button for info. And what it does, it pretty much removes everything from the screen apart from the standby or record mode, which is actually great. Sony has something very similar and I use that sometimes, but it's uh, it's not as clean the screen. You always see, I'm pretty sure the shutter speed and ISO and whatever info you, you have, like the, all the basics. And I kind of like being able to just turn this on and just purely focus on exactly what I want to be shooting just on the footage. So that's pretty interesting. Um, another thing that I gotta mention is the battery life because you know I've been shooting with Zach for a while now and he probably would need 150 batteries to shoot uh, maybe like an hour and a half. This this thing goes through batteries like crazy and he has to always have a huge battery as a backup to constantly charge it just so he doesn't run out of juice during the shoot. But Obviously, it's a cinema camera, so that means that it's not meant to, you know, have tiny batteries, and you know, it's more meant for the actual cinema, which means that it makes sense that you need a bigger battery. And with that said, we got enough footage, so let's go back to the studio and compare what the footage looks like from Sony and Canon. So we're back in the studio, and I just finished editing a few bits and pieces, a few sequences from this morning, and after trying on. The Canon as a Sony fanboy, I gotta say nothing. <laughs> I gotta say nothing. I've been shooting with Zach for the last three years and I know exactly that it doesn't matter if you're shooting Canon, it doesn't matter if you're shooting Sony, especially in 2023, these cameras are pretty much the same. And as you can see, the sequence that I just showed you guys, it wasn't actually all shot on Canon, it was actually just a mix of Sony and Canon. And have you noticed any difference? No, you haven't. In fact, I wanna do a challenge with you guys. I'm gonna play a few clips next to each other in Rec. 7 and I, no special color grade, nothing different, just a Rec. 7 and I translation using Da Vinci's color space transfer, which is the same exact thing. Sony S Log 3, Canon R5C C Log 3. And we're just gonna compare them next to each other, pretty much the same shot. And you guys are gonna tell me down below which one do you think it's Sony? Which one do you think it's Canon? Okay, these are the results. Let me know below how many guys you got right and how many you got wrong. I'm sure you guys didn't get everything right because I re-watching these videos I couldn't even tell almost which one was which because they're so similar when translated into Rex Evan and I. Me and Zach has been shooting together for two and a half three years and every single project we've done together at the start uh, it was a bit like uh, maybe we should shoot all in one camera all in one ecosystem but the more we shot together the more we got used to each other's footage 
the more we realized that there was no absolute difference. And we shot so many projects recently together and every single one of them, we shoot each owns with their own camera. And the reason is because I'm used to Sony. He's used to Canon. He has Canon lenses, I have Sony lenses. There's no reason for one of us to kind of get weaker and shoot with a different ecosystem and you know use a different camera that we're not really comfortable with so i much rather shoot with sony be comfortable with my shooting be very comfortable with changing the settings and play around and be able to get the best image possible while he's shooting canon because of the same way so it really comes down to the way you shoot and the way you create in the end so that wraps up today's videos sony versus canon sony fanboy shoots on canon and to be honest we've been shooting together for what like a solid like two and a half years yeah. already two and a half years three years and every single project we shot together every time we went out when shooting for a project for fun whatever it is every single time we come home with different footage from sony from canon we match it like that i just find that it's such an easy process once you learn how to match footage and I don't really see that much difference. Yes, there is difference in a little bit of colors, but it's nothing that can be fixed with a little bit of color grading. So what I think is that when you start with a brand, once you dive into an ecosystem and you buy all of these lenses, all of this gear, there's not really a point in changing just because of the brand on top of your camera. You spend so much money on lenses, so much money on gear. You learned one system, you learned all of the features from one brand you learn the menu there's no point changing that especially when the image that comes out of a camera it's pretty much the same thing now one thing that i think sony is actually a little bit better it's low light what do you think it is i think low light is one of those things that sony forever has just always been so solid with Canon, sure, you can shoot in low light, but Sony's second native ISO, at least on the A7S III, is 12,800. You get a clean image. You start from scratch already at 12,800. So if you are shooting in low light environments, if you're shooting in darker conditions where you know you don't have an f1.2 lens, chances are Sony might be the camera for you. But if you're not shooting in one of these environments, if you don't need super low light performance, then by all means, these cameras, these brands, are all gonna get you very similar looking shots. Especially when you can just shoot in log, because both cameras shoot in log. S-Log3, for this example, C-Log3. They're both three. I don't know what three means, but they're both three. <laughs> they have the same exact stop of dynamic range, which means that you get pretty much the same image out of both of the cameras. More or less, yeah. So Absolutely. it all depends what you want to shoot and what features you're looking for. Exactly. So what features are we looking for? Well, I mean, for me, like, you know, photos is still such a large part of my workflow, but I know it's not really for you. So the a7S III with a 13 megapixel sensor is really no issue. But, you know, shooting with the R5C, 12 megapixel, 12 megapixel sorry, I'm giving Sony a bit more credit than it should be. Uh, but, you know, with the R5C, I'm getting 45 megapixels over there. So it makes sense for me to choose something like this. I could, of course, go for like the Sony A1. Do I want to spend that much money? No. Do I want to reinvest in all these different lenses? No, I don't need it. That's the thing. I already had RF glass. Why on earth would I sell everything just to move to Sony to get more or less a similar looking image? It's silly. So these are the things you need to ask yourself. It's what are you shooting? What do you need? And then make your decision from there. It really does not matter what brand is on the top of your camera, like Luke has already said. On that note, we're going to wrap it up because it's the end of the video. So you want to find out more about autofocus, stabilization. Features in general. Features in general. Go check out Zach's video. It's called the same thing, but swap Canon with Sony at the front of the video. And we'll be linked up here. So that's it. <laughs> So that's it for today's guys. See you guys in the next video. Like and subscribe and peace, bye. Peace, peace. peace.